exponents with negative bases. So let's take a look at exponents with negative bases. So just to refresh your memory, this is your base, and this is your exponent. And we're going to, in this video, we're going to explore bases that are negative with positive exponents. Now remember, you're going to you need to use SPAWN when you're evaluating these exponents. Remember, same sign, positive, opposite, negative when you're multiplying and dividing integers. So let's see if we can figure out a pattern here. Now anything to the zero power is just one. Negative one to the first power, anything to the first power is just that number, negative one. Negative one to the second power would be negative one times itself twice, and a negative times a negative would be a positive one. Negative one to the third power is negative one times negative one, which is positive one. And then positive one times negative one is negative one. So I think you're starting to see the pattern already. Let's do one more. If you do negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one, negative one times negative one is one, and then one times negative one is negative one, and negative one times negative one is positive one. So I think you see the pattern. We're going from a positive number to a negative, to a positive, to a negative, to a positive. So negative one to the fifth power is negative one, and negative one to the sixth power is negative one. So what you'll notice is when the exponent is an even number, you will end up with a positive result when you have a negative base. When the exponent is an odd number and you have a negative base, the result is going to be a negative number. So just remember that. If you have a negative base and an odd exponent, you're going to end up with a negative result. If you have a negative base and an even exponent, you'll end up with a positive result. So let's take a look at a few examples here. If you were doing negative 45 to the ninth power, negative 45 times itself nine times, well, the result, would it be positive or negative? Because the exponent is an odd number, the result would be a negative answer. If you did negative 73 times itself four times, because this is a, an even number, you would end up with a positive result. If you did negative 105 times itself 92 times, it's an even number, so you'd end up with a positive result. If you did negative 47 times itself 47 times, because it's an odd number, you would end up with a negative result. And in the last example on this side, if you did this number to the 310th power, because that's an even number, you would end up with a positive result. So we won't do the ones on the right here. Let's move on to some simpler examples. Negative 5 to the second power means negative 5 times negative 5. That would give you a positive 25. And again, we have an even exponent, so we're going to have a positive answer. Negative 8 to the first power. Well, anything to the first power is just that number. But again, we have an odd number, and we have a negative result. Negative 1 to the 20th power. Now, I could write negative 1 times itself 20 times, but I don't need to. I know that negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be 1. The question is, is it going to be positive or negative 1? Well, because the exponent is an even number, I know the result is going to be a positive 1. Same here. I don't need to write negative 1 times itself 17 times. I know that negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be 1. Question is, is it going to be positive 1 or negative 1? Well, if you look at the exponent, it's an odd number. So I know the result is going to be negative 1. Negative 15 to the 0 power. Well, anything to the 0 power is just 1. Negative 2 to the 4th power. Well, that's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. 
2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Is it positive or negative? Well, because the exponent is even, we're going to have a positive result. Negative 2 to the fifth power. Well, I know that 2 to the fifth power is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Is it going to be positive or negative 32 since these are all negative numbers here? Well, we have an odd exponent, so the result is going to be negative, negative 32. Negative 1 to the 13th power. Well, I know the answer is going to be 1. Is it going to be negative 1 or positive 1? Because this is negative 1 times itself 13 times. Because this is an odd number, it's going to be negative 1. Negative 1 to the 1 billionth, 304,495,870th power. Well, you could write that out if you wanted. Or, I know the answer is going to be 1. Question is, is it negative 1 or positive 1? This is an even number, so the result there would be a positive 1. So that's how you work with exponents that have negative bases.